Yo, check game. So with the booming economy in sight, looking at futures markets, right? So let's assume that my hypothesis is correct and that there won't be a recession until any time. <laughs> I'm just saying like, what if the global economy is so stable and becomes so meta fucking stable that, by the way, I'm one Sir Growth. This is C4CW casting 495 celebrities worldwide. If you are true fans of this show, then I, we 495 most certainly appreciate you. So let's say, and by the way, let's check out meta stability and, and make sure that we're using proper terms here, correct terms, and we're keeping everything in fucking context. Let's look up the concept of meta stability. Let's check it out because we want to um, we want to we want to look at deep futures in terms of global economy and human sustenance subsistence. We see meta stable meta stability. You know how Google be wanting to do some stupid shit. You know what I'm saying when you be searching for some shit and it want to do some stupid shit. And you just be like, come on, Google, stop doing stupid shit. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It says, in physics, metastability is a stable state of a dynamical system. Metastability is a stable state of a dynamical system. Because the stock market is dynamic. Other than the system's state of least energy. A ball resting in a hollow on a slope is a simple Example of metastability. Let's see. Hold on. Let's check it out. Wikipedia. Okay. In physics, metastability is a state of dynamical of a dynamical system other than the system's state of least energy. All right. A ball resting in a hollow on a slope is a simple example of metastability. If the ball is only slightly pushed, it will settle back into its hollow. But a stronger push may start the ball rolling down the slope. Bowling pin shows similar metastability by either merely wobbling for a moment or tipping over completely. A common example of metastability in science is isomerization. Higher energy isomers are long-lived as they are prevented from rearranging to their preferred ground state by possibly large barriers in the potential energy. During a metastable state of finite lifetime, all state describing parameters reach and hold stationary values in isolation. The state of least energy is the only one the system will inhabit for an indefinite length of time until more energy, until more external energy, that is, is added to the system. Unique, absolutely stable state. Absolutely stable, in quotes, state. The system will spontaneously leave any other energy of higher energy to eventually return after a sequence of transitions to the least energetic state. The metastability concept originated in the physics of first order phase transitions. It then acquired new meaning in the study of aggregated subatomic particles in atomic nuclei or in atomic, well, atoms or in molecules. Macro molecules or clusters of atoms and molecules. Later, it was borrowed for the study of decision making and information transmission systems. Many complex, we're still understanding here. Many complex natural and man made systems, it should say human made for those who are those uh, gender uh, folks uh, who are uh, offended at C, can demonstrate metastatic. Many complex natural and man-made systems can demonstrate metastability. Metastability is common in physics and chemistry from an atom, many body assembly to statistical ensembles of molecules, viscous fluids, amorphous solids, liquid crystals, minerals, etc. At molecular levels or as a whole, see metastable states of matter and grain piles below. All right, let's get to the dynamic systems here. With feedback like electronic circuit signal trafficking, decisional systems and neuroscience, the time invariance of the active or reactive patterns with respect to the external influences defines stability and metastability. All right. Okay, in these systems, the equivalent of thermal fluctuations in molecular systems is the white noise that affects signal propagation and the decision-making. And the decision-making? 
Statistical Physics and Thermodynamics, Non-Equilibrium Thermodynamics is a branch of physics that studies the dynamics of statistical ensembles of molecules via unstable states. Being stuck, quote, stuck in a thermodynamic trough without being at the lowest energy state is known as having kinetic stability. Okay, being stuck in a thermodynamic trough without being at the lowest energy state is known as having kinetic stability or being kinetically persistent. Kinetically persistent. The particular motions of kinetics of the atoms involved has resulted in getting stuck despite there being preferred lower energy alternatives. Metastable states of matter, also referred to as metastates, range from melting solids or freezing liquids, boiling liquids or condensing gases, and sublimating solids to supercooled liquids or superheated Liquid gas mixtures, extremely pure, supercooled water stays liquid below zero degrees Celsius and remains so until applied vibrations or condensing seed doping initiates crystallization centers. This is a common situation for the droplets of atmospheric clouds. All right, so let's see here. So taking what we just read and have learned, let's just go with that for a moment and let's see. What is meant by metastability? Someone says, it says right here, metastability in electronics is the ability of a digital electronic system. Let's just say that it's the stock market to persist for an unbounded time in an unstable equilibrium or metastable state. In metastable states, the circuit may be unable to settle into a stable zero or one logic level within the time required for proper circuit operation. How do I get rid of metals? Uh, let's see. We're talking about flip-flops. What are examples of metastability? We already went over that. All right, hold on. Metas, okay, let's see. All right, hold on, let's do this. <clears throat> metastability. We're talking about how to avoid it but let's apply it to the stock market. Metastable stock price. All right, let's see, this is from, okay, metastable capital. From Bitcoin, they're saying, quote, secretive cryptocurrency hedge fund, metastable example. That's apparently a company called Metastable. Crypto boom. This is from Forbes. Metastable capital. Right. I understand that, but that's not what I'm talking about, motherfucker. All right, hold up. I did that intentionally, nasally. I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> Let me see. Hold up. Hold up. Metastability stock market. Hold up. Stock. Market. Fucking stupid ass AI bitch. Um, they're saying here at ResearchGate, it says financial markets have a parallel with metastable physical stock market by using a nonlinear generalization, seeking alpha. Okay, they're again talking about metastability in terms of the company. Uh, okay. Meta stable. Didn't get that because you didn't start. Meta stable stock market. See, these motherfuckers started this company called Meta Stable. So, so they're trying to like have that shit pop up in the beginning. What does it mean to be Meta Stable? It just says here, of a state of equilibrium, stable provided it is subjected to no more than small disturbances. Yeah, that's what the fuck I'm saying. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. You see how that's the easiest fucking definition? You, you see how Wikipedia went into some like, some brazy shit, whereas the definition right here from the dictionary is, quote, from the world realm of physics quote 
of a state of equilibrium stable. So I'm talking about a stable stock market provided it is subjected to no more than small disturbances. And then it goes on to say of a substance or particle. Let's just think of the stock market as a data construct, as a wave, some type of function of human activity. It then says, theoretically unstable so long lived as to be stable for practical purposes. And then it uses this example, quote, the occurrence of metastable olivine and deep earthquakes is subducting in subducting lithosphere. Okay, that's going off on some tangential shit. That's not what the fuck I'm talking about. What is the meaning of that? Okay, this is from Britannica. Metastable state in physics and chemistry. Particular excited state of an atom nucleus or other system that has a longer lifetime than the ordinary excited states and that generally has a shorter lifetime than the lowest. Okay. Often stable energy state called the ground state. That would be the lower. Okay. So what it's saying, let's let's review that. So they're saying that a metastable state in physics and chemistry, particular... Why does it say particular excited state of an atom? Why doesn't it say particularly an excited state of an atom? Nucleus or other system that has a longer lifetime than the ordinary excited states and that generally has a shorter lifetime than the lowest often stable energy state called the ground state. Well, you wouldn't want the fucking stock market to ground out. No, you don't want it to fucking to ground out, man. You want for that shit to be roaring fucking bullish. You want for that shit to be bullish and you want for it to be soaring like a fucking American bald eagle. Let's check it out. Bullish. Didn't get that because you didn't do the shit right, you stupid fuck piece of shit, Google. Bullish market defined. Uh, I didn't say defined. I said defined. What is a bullish market? market that is on the rise and is economically sound, while a bear market is a market that is receding, where most stocks are declining in value. Although some investors are bearish, the majority of investors are bullish. The stock market, as a whole, has always posted returns. Uh, okay. So a bull market is a market that is on the rise and is economically sound, while a bear market is a market that is receding. You know, like, bears like store up and shore up shit and like hoard it when they're like hibernating. You know what I'm saying? Hibernating bears storing up food resources for deep hibernation winter time. I'm just saying, man. I mean, that's one way to think of it. And then you've got the fucking bull. What does the bull do? What does the bull do? Is what I meant to ask. Well, it fucking charges at you, man comes rushing, charging, fuck bullhorns and shit, just like bull, and you're just like, whoa, right, okay, so, um, what is, uh, what does Miguel say in his song, he says, quick to dodge a bull like a matador, <laughs> I love Miguel, man, that dude is awesome, his fucking song, uh, his song, uh, uh, Luke's, what is it, uh, oh, hold on, hold on, Hold up, hold up, hold up. He says, quick to dodge a bull like a matador. Hold up, hold up. Miguel. Miguel. Come on, man. Come on, Google. Why don't you guys get your fucking shit together and fix your goddamn fucking search engine? Why don't you fix your mother fucking search engine? Please. For the love of God. I mean, man, you go to fucking ask the computer some shit. And it gives you like sometimes like half a second. Sometimes it freezes. And I'm talking across the fucking board. I'm talking about across the board. Okay? It's across the board. It's not it's not on one device or another device. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not like it's just like one or two. To, it's like all the time. You know? There's always somewhere where Google is doing some shit. That's fucking faulty. And I'm just saying, man. 
So um, the song right here, Miguel Skywalker, quick to dodge a bull like a matador. <laughs> Yeah, we're talking about the fucking stock market. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. A bullish market versus a bearish market. And what I'm talking about is looking at futures markets. We are pondering meta stability. And is it possible for the stock market to continue indefinitely in meta stability? Without there being a fucking recession is what I'm talking about. Meta stable. So we have to explore meta stable more to make sure that what I am proposing here is even fucking possible, which science and quantum entangle, <laughs> science and quantum entanglement say, state that nothing is fucking goddamn impossible. Everything is possible. So we need to look at a future in a universe where the stock market continues forward and up and never goes backward, never goes down, never recedes, never moves into a recession trajectory. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. And to understand that, we need to look at metastability. Metastability. Okay? So we're going to need for Google to cooperate. We're going to need for this motherfucking search engine that plays games with people. That likes to play fucking games like Hal, like Hal from the movie 2001 Space Odyssey. God damn it. Fucking goddamn piece of shit. Okay. Site settings. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Let's get the fuck out of this stupid Google shit, dude. Let's get the fuck out of this shit. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, wait a minute. Connection is secure. Well, that's great, motherfucker. That's fucking fantastic. I just want to know if what I'm saying about metastability is 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 uh syntactically accurate here and uh, mathematically accurate, motherfucking son of a bitch ass Google. Motherfucking son of a bitch ass Google. All right, man, this thing is fucking playing games. Meta stable market. Okay. Stanford University. Let's take a look at this. Meta stable equilibria. A little faster, motherfucker, would be helpful. Okay, so this is... um. This will be a scholarly citation from Srihari uh, Govindan. Govindan. Govind, Govind, Govindan. G-O-V-I-N-D-A-N. Robert Wilson, 2007, working paper, number 1934, Economics. Quote, and this is Stanford Business. Quote, we define a refinement of Nash equilibria called metastability. This refinement supposes that given that the given game might be embedded with an... God damn it! This refinement supposes that the given game might be embedded within any global game that leaves its local bestropli... Am I saying that right? Bestropli? Best reply? Oh, best reply. Best reply correspondence unaffected. A selected set of equilibria is metastable if it is robust against perturbations of every such global game. Well, yeah. And then it goes on to say, quote, correspondence of each global game has an equilibrium that projects arbitrarily near the selected set. Okay. And then, and then finally, final citation here from metastable equilibria. Working paper number 1934, it goes on to say, uh, quote, metastability satisfies the standard decision theoretic axioms obtained by Merton's 1989 refinement, the strongest proposed refinement, and it satisfies the projection property in Merton's small world axiom, a metastable set of global game projects to a metastable set of a local game. All right. Okay. All right. So looking at the scholarly information... 
looking at the scholarly information versus just a simple, simple uh, summary here, condensed explanation. Okay, simple. Okay, so like uh, R E P E C Repic. Or st- quote, this is from 2013, Zigong. Quote, our study of limited information aggregation mainly focuses on market response to a limited information aggregation and externalities, a simple model of metastable market. Okay, that's what we need to see. We need to see, we need to see what a simple. I believe it is, yeah, metastable market PDF. Let's go. Let's rock. Let's rock, motherfucker. This is by Zhang or Zheng Gong Feng Tian and uh, Bo Yan. Shoot. Uh, let's see. All right. I'm just scanning here. I'm just scanning here. You know, because it's all game theory type shit. I just want to see. Uh, all right. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Scanning, scanning. Quote, with social structures, complicated investment outcomes. We present a model that describes how markets can enter relatively stable statuses long enough for exiting participants to return, which brings the investment back to normal conditions. Our model also supports previous studies that limited information aggregation can cause the uh, exogenous shock effect of global collapse. And we don't want global collapse, dude. We want global forever. We want global foreverness. Perpetuity, dude. Longevity is what we're talking about, man. We want for these financial markets to extend out into space uh, indefinitely, dude. All right? Fuck all that collapse theory shit, man. Global collapse theory fucking bullshit. Fuck all that noise. Um, Okay, View Springer cited by nine. Well, one Sir Grove is now cited it. And all right, so we need we need we need to put this into perspective. This is important to understand, okay? This shit is is definitely something that you know some people on earth have never fucking goddamn explored. I first heard about and learned of metastability from a buddy from childhood, man, who's a PhD in mathematics. And, uh, he was like, bro, if you need to check out metastability, he's like, I just did a paper on it. And I was like, word. And he's like, yep. And I read it. So now we want to apply this to the, uh, to the market. And, uh, okay. So in this article here, let's see, xylem, calcite, neutron, nuclide, nuclides, ion, metastable state, science direct, James H. Thorpe, Michael D. DeLong in the Riverine or Riverine uh, Ecosystem Synthesis 2008. All right, so quote, metapopulations, the presence of metastability at one hierarchical level does not necessarily imply its presence at another level. Hence, metastability of diverse... Okay, so they're talking about species of animals and populations. Okay, hydraulics... Metapopulation, metapopulation models, environment. Okay, yeah, that's not really helping us, dude. Um, okay, Sequoia keeps going back to the company Metastable. Let's look at uh, Metastable Market Defined. I said fucking defined, not define. Defined with the fucking D, you piece of shit. Fucking Google, bitch. So it says right here from Miller Value Partners. Uh, quote, an important idea was the concept of metastability, the temporary state of a system that is different from the long-term preferred state of the system. Well, okay, so what is a long-term preferred state of the economy? A roller coaster ride? Because that's the norm. Well, what if that changes and, it be, and and there's a new norm? I mean, I get it, man. Can it increase indefinitely? I mean, economic theorists are probably like, come on, Grove, dude. It can never do that. Well, I'm a scientist, dude. And I'm saying don't ever say never, dude. Because <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know. Hold on. Temporary state of a system that is different from the long-term preferred state of the system. The system is driven by a persistent force. Persistent, okay, 
let's expand this. Hysteresis. Uh, 2016. 2016. 25 minutes and 10 seconds. I just want to look at the motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, paper on the shit. Okay, dude. Earthquakes and Markets by John Rundle. Uh, so it says, uh, hysteresis can be defined as the condition, quote, hysteresis can be defined as the condition of a complex system in which the current state of the system tends to persist for a period after it has ceased to be the preferred long-term stable state of the system. Long-term stable state? Okay, well, what's the long-term stable state of the current economy? What, what is that? I mean, define that is what I'm asking. And then and then John goes on to say, Peter Bernstein and Jared Bernstein have described the application of the idea of hysteresis to the financial markets and to more general economic systems. All right. And then it goes on, quote, an important idea was the concept of metastability, the temporary state of a system that is different from the long-term preferred state of the system. Well, I'd prefer, well, well preference is subjective. What's the long-term preferred state of the economy. I keep asking that fucking question, dude. To anyone. To anyone. In a utopian world, the economy would keep getting fucking better and better forever. Maybe that's what it's doing now. Maybe it's not. I'm just saying, like, what is better? Um, The idea of hysteresis, again, continue, you know, quote here. Uh, Okay, so now they want to get to some math symbols. I don't want to look at math symbols. I want to look at, I want to look at these 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 ideas that are in plain fucking English here. And okay, so again, quote: the idea of hysteresis is associated with metastability, but an important question relates to the process by which the system evolves into a metastable state. To answer this question, we return to Lando. Theory. Okay, uh, wow. Yeah. Markets, Federal Reserve, another central bank supply the money in this is Okay. Stake and other game. Example, earthquake fall. All right, because earthquake fall, earthquake curves, potential decay itself. All right, same model can apply to Mark. Okay. All right, okay, 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 okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so John goes on to say, quote, the same type of model can be applied to the markets as shown in figure 2A and 2B. In this application, earthquake cycle, earthquake lock, uh, fall, earthquake is replaced by the business cycle, recession, economic boom, recession, and the leverage cycle, market crash, inflated assets, market crash. Okay, here these economic systems will be driven by the increase in available liquidity arising from the increase in the money supply from the Federal Reserve's growth of GDP and velocity of money, among other factors. In this case, the market's growth. Supply uh, increases more rapidly after crashes occur and tends to persist too long when it's no longer needed. Late in the cycle, of Federal Reserve remove liquidity. Okay. Uh, in the view of economists such as yeah, moral hazard, and other forms of risky behavior tend to grow. Yeah, no concern. Increased leverage. Leverage is nothing. Increased deficit. Equity and purchase asset. That's increasing deficit. Uh, all right. Leads to nucleation event, earthquake, market crash. Okay, this is important right here. Thus, the he says, thus the increasing deficit in the equity for markets corresponds to the increasing deficit in slip on earthquakes faults leading up to the nucleation event, earthquake or market crash. All right, hold on. This is important as well. In the movies below, we show the system occupies global stable. Okay, but blue color. Okay, and that the system involves to produce a higher meta stable minimum as well. The case is most stable, most stable state. Eventually, the case of the system transitions to the stable state once again. The cycle continues as new most stable state. The system is lifted to higher energy levels and higher asset values. This is associated with the fact that the system remains a level of potential energy or asset state long after state long after it should have transitioned. Meta stability. Hmm. Meta stability. Well, I guess it's unclear at this point, man. It it really is. It says right here, what is uh, moving out of that into this? Question, what is a metastable isotope? If you look at the definition of metastable, what a metastable isotope is becomes obvious. It is an isotope, an element that has a variance 
in its number of neutrons. That happens to be stable, meaning it could last for many years, but less stable than its normal counterparts. Okay, so if it's metastable, an isotope, an element that has a variance in its number of neutrons that happens to be stable, meaning it could last for many years. So it's not its normal stable. It's a different type of stable. Okay, what is metastable equal equilibrium? This is from N, uh, NIH. Thus, the state of relatively stable or metastable equilibrium is defined as the state in which a system remains for a long period of time and any slight disturbance causing the system to deviate from the metastable state does not result in the system passing into another state. Thus, the state of relatively stable or metastable equilibrium is defined. Thus, the state of equilibrium, thus the state of relatively stable or, thus the state of relatively stable or metastable equilibrium is defined as the state in which a system remains for a long period of time and any slight disturbance causing the system to deviate from the metastable state does not result in the system passing into another state. So, I believe that's what I'm saying. I believe that that is exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. There could be a time where the the stock market becomes metastable and it's in this, I don't want to say hyperinflated because it wouldn't necessarily be inflation. Some might argue that there would be. It would be a time in which, well, prices, I mean, Look at the booming, soaring economy now. Gas prices have been down, but, but, well, food, uh, food prices, it depends, have, have been relatively low as well. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I've noticed that too. So if this trend, but home prices have gone up. Home prices have gone up. So real estate's gone up. There is, uh, I'm looking at utility scarcity and considering all, all these different factors, I'm just looking at some data. I'm looking at some, some theoretical stuff here, man. Some abstract theoretical mathematics and uh, concepts. And I'm trying to wrap my mind around the, a deep future in which the stock market continues on an upward bullish market trend indefinitely in air quotes in a metastable state is what I is what I'm thinking because it would not that would become the norm for some extended period of time aside outside it's normal what has become or traditionally been its normal state so that would be a state of metastability that would be that would be a metastable equilibrium for some unknown length of time. And that is the trajectory in which we need to move, go toward and in. And what we need to prevent is what Al Bielik saw, which is a future where New York is attacked in a limited atomic strike where the world rebuilds and then it becomes somewhat of a utopian future. Now, the utopian future aspect, we can achieve that without nuclear devastation. We just need to understand that the nuclear war needs to be prevented and that utopian, air quotes, utopian future needs to be achieved that Al Bielik saw, because the future that he saw was amazing. The only caveat I have is that in that future, uh, there was no need for money. And that's kind of weird to me because I'm a capitalist. So how, how would there be a stock market if there is no money? There would not be. So that's not a future that I'm, that, that I, that I see as being ideal. You need, you, you need for humans to have an incentive to work and there need to be coins. Bitcoins or some type of coins can't just be, you know, people, everyone having equal resources to everything because some people are lazy and they don't want to give input into the system. They don't want to work. They're not incentivized to do shit and they're still getting fucking coin. 
in some type of utopian future. They sit around, lazy piece of shit, don't do any fucking work on the planet, and they still get some type of coin? Fuck all that noise, man. That's why this system exists. We just need to make sure that the economy continues in that trajectory as stated without going the other fucking direction and we need to avoid nuclear war. So, yeah, just looking at some data.